beast is teaching us gambling? Uh, yeah. you, I, you are way more rich than me. Uh, but I, I give my money away. I'm poor. Out of all of the money that he makes, he donates about 0.2% to charity. I give my money away. I'm poor. It's mo- No. And then, like, the building here is, like, expanding. So it's like they added on the whole back half of the building. The flowers here are, like, not lining up. You can barely tell that this is faked. So, like, how many things like this are they getting away with where they're making it look like they did more than they actually did? So as you know, Mr. Beast used to have a Bessie and just like Diddy and Usher, they used to live together in the past as well. There was a lot of smiles involved, a lot of happy memories and red butt cheeks. But just like Usher and Diddy's relationship, it did not last long. What happened to Mr. Beast's old bestie, Mr. Ava? Well, he was caught doing Dr. Disrespect behavior. We already went through it in the past couple of months where they were talking in Discord chats where both of them were adults, Mr. Beast and his old bestie, and they were talking to people underage, talking about how big Mr. Beast's beast, beast is. How big his cucumba is. 100% normal conversations to have with people underage. Because it's a disco call. It's all online. There's no intention behind it. And they were never going to meet up. And in the past two to three months, Mr. Beast, even though he lost his, you know, old OG bestie, he has gained two new besties. And they have been nothing but supportive of him. Miss Rosanna and Doc Pack 404 And in the latest supportive video towards Mr. Beast, Rosanna posted on her channel... The video titled Mr. Beast is a criminal leaked video. Now, I watched the video all the way through and they went over some very great points and my view on Mr. Beast changed. So it, it was changed before, but it came extra step. It changed even more. Now, the first eight minutes of the video, they went over how Mr. Beast used to be a gambling addict and to this day, he's still a gambling addict. So someone sent me also what appears to be Mr. Beast's personal Reddit account. I'm going to read it here. At the time, Jimmy was... 19 and the legal age to gamble in north carolina is 21. so this is seven years ago okay so it says guys don't gamble the pain isn't worth it i've lost tens of thousands of dollars gambling cryptos and i regret it on this side alone i have lost fifteen thousand dollars this is the link to my profile oh what's that what's that link bustabit.com all right then response wow that is crazy insane losses sorry my dude i gambled 10 ethereum on a coin flip and lost and I haven't gambled since. I've decided I'm not going to spend the rest of my life sad about my losses. I'm just going to let it go and never gamble again. Been two and a half months since I last gambled and I don't ever plan on doing it again. Started as little money just for fun and very fast spiraled out of control. I'd recommend that you never touch a gambling site again. I don't know how but you eventually become numb and more risk tolerant and then it's GG. This shows that he knows how dangerous and addictive gambling is. Here's a YouTube clip from Logan Paul's podcast when Jimmy was 20 years old. Gambling. I used to gamble a lot. Really? Fun times, yeah. You're, Wait, you're not you're even- You're 20. Yeah, you're not even- he don't, don't ask that question, but... But you're 20. Don't, don't ask that question. Because it's illegal to gamble in North Carolina unless you're 21. You're not a degenerate like, like myself. When it comes to gambling, yes, but... Uh, <laughs> which, by the way, that surprised me. Yeah? That's... I don't know, dude. Like, you're oh, very smart with just your money. The guy away millions of dollars on YouTube videos is a gambler. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> it's clear to me that Jimmy has a gambling problem, and now he's teaching it to children. Now, I don't really see a problem if Mr. Beast has a gambling problem and he keeps it to himself and he does it behind closed doors. Ten million dollars! Take my money! Spin it on some whatever the hell gambling shit that he does. Rosanna mentioned that, you know, at the time he was only 18, 19, 20 when he, you know, started to get into this whole thing. And in North Carolina, where Jimmy grew up and where he's living currently right now, it is illegal because you have to be 21 plus to do online gambling or, you know, just normal gambling. Now, the reason I say why I don't see a problem with it is because once growing up, all of us growing up, we did some illegal shit left and right, like getting our older friend to buy us alcohol, whatever, this is fine. But when does it become a problem and it crosses the line and it becomes a very serious thing is when you promote it to your audience, to your especially young audience and you encourage them and you teach them how to do these things. Here's how it works. You take your ticket, you scan it and boom, this $50 ticket won $200. So far we're up $150 with one ticket. In this video, he is literally walking you through the steps of how to gamble. Mr. Beast is teaching us gambling? The easiest, making it very accessible and easy for kids to do. One, 
why is he teaching children how to gamble? And two, the way he's worded it makes it sound like it's a sponsorship question mark. Now this video really opened up my eye on many things. Different videos all get got combined. They all started to make sense to me in my head about Jimmy getting sponsored to promote these things. If you remember, we covered Mr. Beast video like for the 50th. I don't know if it was number 12th time that we cover Mr. Beast. I showed you a video of Mr. Beast manager in a podcast talking about how Jimmy, Mr. Beast wanted to promote a very sketchy, scammy um, website, gambling website. And that is a time where Mr. B uh, Mr. Beast manager shut him down. Is there anything you've had to say no to? Um, yeah, tons. Uh, yeah, so a uh, good example. So it was about three years or two and a half years ago when I started working with Jimmy, what was becoming really popular were these like mystery loot crate, like internet mm -hmm. sites where you, it's basically like CSGO skins, but you'd go on and be like, here's the Supreme box and you'd pay $50 oh, for it. And remember it was yeah, like- Yeah, didn't Rice Rice Gum did uh, yeah, quite a few Paul. people. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of hate for that. Right. Jimmy was, um, he wanted to work with that company when he heard about it, because it was a lot of money and we wanted to give that money away in a video. And I, I had to talk him back on it. I was like, listen, we're not, promoting gambling, I think people are gonna see this negatively. So it's yeah. a long conversation that him and I had to have, which eventually we passed on the deal. And then Jake, Paul, and Ricegum ended up doing that deal and got a lot of hate for it. Uh, Jimmy, why is your manager saying that you wanted to promote this obvious scam to your young impressionable audience? Also the video clip that you just saw, it was from a dog pack video when he first covered it. And I decided to dive more into it and see how the competitions actually work. It turned out that I believe this is my opinion since you know I've been in the social and game for four to five years. If you don't know, I have 4.7 million followers on TikTok. And 99% of the time when you see people coming out and giving giveaways, I'm giving you a Tesla, I'm giving you a Ferrari, I'm giving you a fucking bulldozer, I don't know. iPhone, PlayStation, dildos, $10,000 cash, whatever they're giving you out, it is being sponsored. It is not, it not, not even a dollar is coming out from their pockets. They are getting paid to even, you know, do this giveaway. And the way they make it seem like is I care about my uh, fan base and I will do whatever I can to help them out. So Mr. Beast and Laser Beam in Australia, they filmed a video saying, you know, next to a Lamborghini. And they were like, if you buy a uh, Feast of Us chocolate, you will get a barcode. And from that barcode, you can go to our website, scan it, and you will get one entry per chocolate to go on a shuffle, a gambling shuffle, like spin the wheel. And whatever three you're gonna land on, you're going to win a prize. Now, in this situation, I would say it's a 50-50 chance that Mr. Beast, you know, was getting paid to give out a Lambo or it was his own marketing strategy. Because think of the amount of festivals people were buying just to win a Lamborghini. In, in your eyes, it's like, what? I don't know how, how much festivals is. Let's say $5. Think of the amount of people that are going to buy the feastables just to be able to compete in this Lamborghini shuffle. I can confidently say that he made millions because of this marketing strategy. And what happened at the end? Did anyone win the Lamborghini? Yes, indeed. But it was around 10,000 people who won the Lamborghini. Ooh. What the fuck? See, look, I won! But then he said, no! And in this next clip is the giveaway live stream where Mr. Beast is so humble and such a good person that he decides to give thousands of dollars to his own fan base but just you have to do one thing you have to buy his merch to have a chance of entry in the competition again now in this competition he actually gives out money but the money that he makes from this exit by a thousand five minutes we're gonna do the same thing again we're gonna put a thousand dollars in a random order hey daryl don't we owe someone two thousand a thousand dollars but hey everything he makes he gives it out to people he doesn't keep anything for himself he's a simple guy who likes to live a simple life He's poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a we're not, we're not gambling to. degenerates like some people. <laughs> Wait, yeah. so are you one of the rich people they want to eat? Or are you I, I'm not that rich. Not yet. You, I, you are way more rich than me. Uh, but I, I give my money away. I'm poor. Mr. Beast, if you're poor, what am I? What are you watching this video right now? This doesn't make sense. According to um, the internet, Mr. Beast makes around six to seven hundred million dollars a year. You're telling me all of that money goes into the videos? All of that money goes into you know, paying the people, donating it to everyone, those thousands of dollars that he's putting in every merch. Well, what happened to the merch money? I give my money away. I'm poor. And you would think to yourself that if you start working for Mr. Beast, you're going to be living that rich life because he gives out to random people walking on the street. He gives them like a million dollars. What are you going to be getting since you're going to be very close with Jimmy? I'll tell you what. Okay, Overtime! Wow. With no extra pain, you're going to get... 
harass at work. You're going to be so underpaid, under minimum wage, as according to the lawsuit that we covered up. Now, if you watch Rosanna and Doc Pack's videos, you're going to see Mr. Beast has been part of many, many crypto situations. He never promoted it on his own page, or maybe he did. Doc Pack said maybe he deleted it and we missed it. But all the crypto people, you know, who were doing allegedly partnership together we still don't know if they're partnered or not but i'm just saying if he wasn't partnered up with this crypto stuff 100 he would sue them to take his picture down from the promotions that they've been doing take a look at this for example refinable we're starting huge we are extremely proud to announce mr beast and binance are both taking this dollar fine opportunity to invest into us and according to rosanna's video they said that you know he does good and helps people donaldson which was jimmy mr beast defends his philanthropic work against charges of poverty profiteering by pointing out that it is being funded by his main channel what is philanthropic it is mr beast other channel which has 26.3 million subscribers it brings a lot of views he gives out whatever he makes from this channel as you can see fundraiser to charity and according to rosanna's video it is one hundred thousand dollars a month which sends the charity one hundred thousand dollars a month let's do a little bit of basic math so annual revenue 700 million and you're donating 100k to your charity every month what percentage is that what percentage of all of your revenue is donated to your charity out of all of the money that he makes he donates about 0.2 percent to charity now according to rosanna she's been talking to a lot of ex mr beast employees and mr beast contestants who are part of his games and you know she's been sharing a lot of information over the past you know two to three months because she's so besties with mr beast right now and in this video she said that she talked to an ex mr beast employee and this is what you know they had to say i was told that mr beast's channel philanthropy site was supposed to be jimmy's get out of free jail card if he ever had to get canceled they wanted jimmy to win a nobel prize within the next few years <laughs> within the <laughs> 100 with jimmy's reputation right now he deserves the he deserves that nobel prize because i haven't seen anyone as good as mr beast 700 million dollars a year and he donates 0.2 percent of that to charity what a, what a humble what a humble guy six to seven hundred million dollars of profit from all businesses a year and he donates 0.2 percent of that and he waves it all around as if he's giving 50 percent of his uh, you know profits to everyone he says that he is what he's poor uh but I, I give my money away. I'm poor. He doesn't have any money because he gives all of it away. I don't know if Jimmy never finished math lecture, but 0.2% is not all of your money giving away. I'm just I'm just saying. I give my money away. I'm poor. Came here with $100,000 in $5 bills. And no <laughs> casino in all in Vegas would accept it. No way. They all said no one's ever brought 100 grand in $5 bills. And they just thought it was fraudulent. And I was like, I'm a YouTuber. Here's me giving this <laughs> random guy a million dollars. And they're like, still, no one should have this many $5 bills. This is fraudulent. And they just, literally, they wouldn't take it. And so I had to like, just, I was like, well, can you at least hold it back there? <laughs> so here he is saying that he went to a casino to gamble $100,000 in one night, the same amount of money that he donates to his charity in a month. It seems like his gambling budget is much higher than his charity budget. Uh, but I, I give my money away. I'm poor. Now, some of you here watching, you might be diehard Mr. Beast fans with Mr. Beast creepy face tattooed in your butt cheeks. And you might be here to only shit on me and say, whoa, look at you, you small YouTuber. What did you do for this world? Did you cure blindness? Did you help people in Africa? Well, let me tell you something. I, I, I did nothing. But I, you know, I usually do. Um, I, I feed the cats on the street. If I see them, I'll help a homeless guy out. Last time I helped a homeless guy, he was like, can I have three dollars i gave him three dollars he went and he bought a cigarette i was like you donkey but more or less i usually help the animals on the street but one thing i do not do is i do not film it literally <laughs> two years ago at my old old place i wasn't doing youtube at the time i was doing tiktok videos and i wanted to make a video of a parody for you know make fun of the people who film it here's an knife here's a water and they're like fucking filming it in their face i bought a pack of the ice cream and i went to some indian workers who were walking uh, on the building downstairs it was very hot 
gets very hot in the Middle East, and I wanted to be like, here you go, are, are, are you hungry? I wanted to add as much as drama as I could, but before that, before starting to film, I was like, yo, I'm gonna make fun of these people uh, uh, posting, and I'm going to be giving you this, just act surprised. Be like, oh my god, ice cream! I swear to God, I gave, uh, ice cream was in my hand. I was, wanted to start recording. He was like, you don't need to film it. God is watching what you're doing. You don't need anyone else to see what you're doing. I was like, I know, but I'm trying to make fun of these people. You don't understand. He went through a whole fucking misunderstanding between them. And at the end, I felt bad. I was like, okay, fuck it. I don't want to film this video anymore. I'm gone. But as far as I know, even though Mr. Beast cured a thousand blind people, as far as I know, he could be promoting the... The clinic! But most likely after all the things I've learned from Mr. Beast and all the new discoveries I've been making from Mr. Beast, this probably was a jail out of free card where, you know, you spend $100,000 in one video and you will be, you know, making six, seven hundred million dollars a year. But in your picture, in your image, if anyone comes after you and be like, you said in one of your videos that women are peasants and men are east, west, men are the best. And then Mr. Beast comes with a shatak. Did you cure, you know, a thousand people? No, you didn't. I did. So guys, protect me and say that I'm a good person and I'll continue making hundreds of millions of dollars because that is my jail out of free card the good things that i'm doing but i i give my money away i'm poor and going through with this video mr beast bestie number two decided to pop in this video and this is another thing they pointed out which i think is very important for you to know a few months ago at the very top of a 9,000 foot mountain in a remote part of nepal this hospital looked like this that that looks cgi this is the after shot and then same thing over here what i noticed is that Dan Mace, who's the director on Beast Philanthropy, did a behind the scenes video for this shoot where they build a hospital in Nepal or whatever. Mm -hmm. Started off by getting the opening shots. I like to call these plinky plonk match cuts. These are great. For this, the building looks very different than in shots like this. And, uh, you know, for one example, there's like moss growing here, which is. Yeah, it looks more decrepit. Yeah, and it's in like this the one. concrete's breaking down right here. There's like holes in the roof. Uh, there's like all this random crap. But in the real shot, there's no moss. Yeah. There's no decrepit. There's a building yeah. behind it. So in this sh opening shot, huh. where Mr. B says, this is what the hospital looked like a month ago, they digitally removed the entire hospital to make it look like they built the hospital. Like they built the bigger building. Yeah. yeah. But they did it. But yeah, they did that to make it look all broken down and decrepit, adding all the, these... Uh, like all this trash, like this, this looks like a PlayStation 2 graphic. It doesn't have any of that in the video. Yeah. And these pictures were used in news articles to show that Mr. Beast revitalizes Nepal hospital, bringing vital services to thousands. What they actually did in the video was just install solar panels. They didn't build the hospital, but he made it seem like they did. This secluded town in the middle of nowhere looked like this. Oh. You saw it? Bill building here, uh -huh. but then they just use generative AI or, or you know, editing or, or whatever to expand it. Cause it's like, there's things, look at that. It's mo no. And then like the building here is like expanding. So it's like they added on the whole back half of the building. The flowers here are like not lining up. You can barely tell that this is faked. So like how many things like this are they getting away with where they're making it look like they did more than they actually did? Because they say that this is what the town looks like now. And then this is what it looked like before. Yeah. And it's just not true. It's dishonest. No, it's completely deceptive. Long story short, if you're in the hospital with a black eye and Mr. Beast wants to make a video on you of helping this poor beaten up guy, you have two choices. Either he will AI you and add more bruises to your body and make you look like you, you know, just ran through a tram. Or he's going to hire three people to beat the shit out of you even more so you will look more presentable for his videos, basically. We don't know how many more shit he got away with this in this situation. But hey, according to him, he is extremely poor because he gives all of his money away because of how much he cares about poor countries all around the place. Anyways, just I feel like I've been going on on this yapping session for way too long. That's I just wanted to share this with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for so much. See you in the next one. <gasps>